everyone welcome to musings of manu and this is manu here and we will be talking about 10 tips of college life that are going to be really helpful for you in your college life if you are someone who's starting the college life in this fall then i must say that this video is going to be very helpful for you so watch it till the very end because in the very end i'm going to talk about very important tips that will definitely help you build a skill set and get some good internship and placement offers so let's begin The first thing that I'm going to talk about is networking. If you enter your college the first day, just go and talk to people, network with them. Maybe I know a lot of us don't like to talk much. Uh, we don't want to uh, be in the same um, zone that we used to be in school days, and uh, a lot of us have not have those had those good experiences during school days. So we just don't want to communicate. But let me tell you one thing: we are in college, and we are. experiencing a lot of new things and we have to focus on the new part new chapter of our life so just go and initiate the conversation just appreciate someone i like your hair i like your dress and where did you get it get it from or you can just talk about anything if you like about someone how they speak how their personality just go and tell them that's how you start the conversation if nothing just talk about the weather i mean you can so yeah that's how you start just network with people because what people can teach you no other book will ever be able to teach you you getting me right so yeah that was the first point networking it's noted down the second i'm going to talk about is societies every college society has a lot of exposure to give you in the very initial beginning of your college life and uh, when you start your college life just go for all the societies i would say i won't say that burn out yourself in the at the very end of the day but i would say just make work life balance try to be there and there as well try to manage your time because that's how you learn time management right not in those corporate sector but in the very beginning in your college days only so go for the societies the dance society the theater society uh, nss eco club or whatever you can get in your college if there is a uh, some writing competition just go for it you will have to participate more and more societies to meet more more new people to get to learn a lot so that was my second point society the third point is academics yes my friend you are there because you are good in academics and let me tell you this this very important thing that you will have to maintain a decent cgpa i won't say just go and maintain 8 9 10 i won't say that because i was not that student during college days i used to be when i was in school but not in college so i would say that maintain a decent cgpa at the same time focus on the fun part focus on yourself focus on your personality career development will go hand in hand now coming to the most important part that i consider is extracurriculars when you are in college you will have to be a part of extracurricular now someone will think what is the difference between societies and extracurriculars so the difference is society is something that you are a part of it when you are in college extracurricular is that you do on your own like you are going um, you're going to let's say a start a fair you're going to a mela or you're going to a world book fair whenever you go somewhere you get those discounts as a college students when you have your college id you have access to a lot of things a lot of events in delhi or in any other university that uh, that only students will get no other person can go, get those opportunities you're getting me right so yeah extra curriculars remember it go for dance go for singing go for auditions whatever you can just do it in your college days okay you are not going to get these golden days again now i will be talking about inter college competitions yes why am i focusing and why am i giving this much importance to this particular point is because i have been there i have re- realized what i've learned and those one of those wonderful people that i've met during my college days so inter college competitions have helped helped me and i am still in touch with a lot of people during those college days when i met a lot of people i am still in touch with them so touch wood this is the best thing that can ever happen to you if you have the access to opportunities like slam poetry competition theater competition dance competitions group solo however just go and participate Uh, I remember one of my friend from Delhi University went on to represent all of us in a debate competition on a national level. He was competing with national level people like from IIMs, people from uh, IITs, and he was competing with them. So that was a proud moment for all of us out there. So I would say just go and participate as much as you can because you are not going to get these days once again. Okay. 
So now let's talk about make a LinkedIn account. Why? Why am I saying this? I was um, very ignorant of this fact that how a LinkedIn account can change my life because I won't say it changed my life but it has really impacted my life so beautifully in so many beautiful ways that you should definitely make a LinkedIn account because it's not just important for internships or you are let's say someone will say I am going for UPSC and civil services should I make a LinkedIn account definitely you should people are doing personal branding these days people are learning from LinkedIn platforms like LinkedIn people are um, making their resumes people are giving interviews uh, to AI on LinkedIn I will tell you that as well in another video how to do that how to help uh, take help from LinkedIn and make your resume I will tell you everything I will tell you about cold outreach I will tell you about LinkedIn and how it works but first make a LinkedIn account go and make a LinkedIn account right now if you're a college student and you don't have a LinkedIn account just go and make now I'm talking about the thing that I have done more and more even more than internships and uh, extracurriculars it is volunteering yes so if i could change even a one person even one person's life or i could change a bit even a bit as a human being i would think that my journey was successful i have accomplished a lot i would consider myself as an fortunate individual because i have volunteered for so many ngos and i feel so proud of that because when you go to the ground reality when you see that you get a sense of gratitude in yourself you realize that there's a lot out there that you don't know about there's a lot going on and whenever you feel that i'm not good enough my life is not good enough when you go there you volunteer and you meet those wonderful people those kids and those women then you realize that my life is far better i'm so i should be grateful for that so that's how you go and volunteer now I will be talking about some important things you should focus on this. Take up some courses, build a resume and a skill set so that you can post it on your LinkedIn profile, like put it in the LinkedIn profile in your experience section so that people get to know that, yeah, this person has done something. Go for the courses from um, different universities like I am Ahmedabad, I am Bangalore and uh, on Coursera you have millions of courses like i won't say millions but yeah there's there are a lot of courses you should just go for it and go and grab the free ones first and complete them and then post them and use them from google there are digital marketing course and uh, analytics a lot of courses are there and i have done a few of them uh, not because i wanted to but more of a peer out of peer pressure <laughs> but yeah that was a good thing because i got to learn a lot i got to learn a lot learn a lot from there and uh, at the same time i would say i got a certification so that was all good now i will be talking about the last um, not the last the second last that uh, why are you there in your college to meet new people to uh, make some new connections at the same time some people start their own startup in college only their journey towards entrepreneurship start during their college days so you need to figure out a problem you need to be the solution to that problem you have to make a solution for that problem so present it present your ideas go for it because when you experience it it's your time and in your 20s you need to experience a lot of things you need to go and experience all the way out there so that at the end of the day you have something to show people even if you fail you know even if you fail you will have something to talk about if you don't fail if you don't try at all you won't have something to talk about people relate to your pain points so just go fail reject yourself get rejected and then come back stronger than ever before now the last and the most important thing have fun why am i saying this because you will have to have fun during your college days because after that you won't get time and i must say that even if you get time you won't get that privilege you, uh, you won't get that friends you will have some sort of responsibilities on yourself even if you're doing masters you will have those responsibilities so have fun explore as many cafes and restaurants you can make uh, make as many friends as you can and just go explore it all the way the if you are in delhi just go explore all the markets of delhi because i just love delhi and uh, go and try all the metros out there the buses out there just yeah i love delhi and if there's anything else you'd like to talk about just let me know in the comments below and do like my video if you liked it subscribe to my channel and share this video with as many friends as you can those who are starting your, their college life this fall just share with them and let them know that you care for them so see you next time till then keep watching musings of manu thank you for being here and thank you for supporting me bye bye